address it. Well, welcome back. And this morning's consumer alert, chances are you're going to be grilling at least sometime today or tomorrow. And we have some tips from Tim Walsh. He is the owner of Puro Clean in Lithicum. Good morning. Good morning. So you basically make folks whole after they've had some sort of a disaster, like a chimney fire or a deck fire due to grilling? That's correct. All right, you come in, you clean, you paint, you do all kinds of stuff. That's correct. All right, so you want to help people avoid needing your services, so you have some expert grilling tips. Exactly. All right, and the first is to keep your grill pretty much a safe distance away from the home. Right, at least 10 feet uh, from the back of the house. We've seen examples of people have grills under decks, mm -hmm. on patios with roofs over them. People grill in their garages. So you basically want to have whatever type of grill you use at least 10 feet away from your home. Okay, and then make sure you clean your grill. Correct. So you guys are probably familiar with the standard charcoal grill. Mm -hmm. This is an old Weber that we use mostly for tailgate parties. But you would, you know, this uses charcoal. Everybody knows what charcoal lighter is. Oh, yeah. People tend to overdo the mm -hmm. charcoal lighter. And then when they throw the match on, it flames up. Right. You can get singed. We've seen examples where people don't have charcoal lighter. But they do have a lawnmower and they have gasoline mm -hmm. and they think gasoline is the same as charcoal lighter. Oh my gosh. It's flammable. To, actually, oh, it's yeah. explosive. Mm -hmm. so, so go easy on charcoal lighter. Don't ever use gasoline. And actually the safest method mm -hmm. for starting charcoal is yeah. a device like this mm -hmm. where you set it on the grill, you fill it with charcoal, mm -hmm. and then you basically put a piece of burning paper underneath. In just a couple minutes, it'll have the charcoal burning. And then when it's all white, you literally pick it up, you dump it on the grill, and you're ready to cook. And then even a safer method is, I was just shopping at Home Depot last night, but... Yeah, this is the best Here's stuff. a version of charcoal that's actually pre-soaked. Right. So it doesn't flame mm -hmm. up. You literally apply a match, it lights, it starts, it works the same way. Yeah, this saves you a Normal lot of time if works. you go ahead and get that. Maintaining your grill is really important, too. You don't want to have a, a really nasty grill. Correct. So, so maintaining your grill mm -hmm. is as simple as using a device like this right. when you're done cooking mm -hmm. or before you cook again. It's just a wire brush. It costs almost nothing. You can buy one at any hardware store. And for those people who use a gas grill, right. they, they get very greasy very oh, sure. fast. That will catch on fire and flame up. So cleaning a, a gas grill is really important and then the other thing about a gas grill is when you go to light it make sure it's open mm -hmm. okay because if it's closed use the self igniter oh, yeah. it fills up with gas it can literally explode and hurt people and start a fire that's excellent advice and then of course worst case scenario you do have something that gets out of hand make sure you have your fire extinguisher handy correct which you could buy at any home depot for under thirty dollars when people buy them Mm -hmm. They tend to throw this away. Yeah. It's a little thing you could screw into mm -hmm. the wall. You could hang it. Most people that have a fire extinguisher at the time of need, they have no idea where it is. <laughs> or how to use it. But Correct. I tell you what, it, <laughs> when you need it, you just do it. <laughs> you do what you need to do and it works. All right. Thank you so much for coming in. I really You're appreciate welcome. it. Thanks Excellent for having tips. me. You're so welcome. Well, please stay with us Sunday Gardeners.